So welcome back. Today we're going to be working on finishing up the door. I have a glass insert over there. This is the siding I acquired for the shanty shack to have it look. And you can see that the boards here, if I put them together, there's a lot of gap. That's because you can probably see here, there's a very rough edge, at least on one side, and sometimes on both sides. So what I'm going to do, just barely trim these so that they have a smoother side and when I butt them together they will be a lot less air gap in between the boards and it should look a lot better. I only have a couple of different extension cords so I have to keep switching them from compressor and so on and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these out real quick. thing I want to do is to trim off the very bottom because it's raggedy from rot and the water damage all these years as a fence clean edge. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to leave an inch and a half so I need to cut 20 inch pieces After my first piece, I will set my stop here so I can use that as my gauge here and measure. So just in case. Looks like I'm a little bit over to get my measurement, so I'll have to pencil mark each one, which is okay. That'll be my template. Next 
next piece. Same thing. Trim off a little bit of the bottom. And then go to my stock. Now in this case I have a crack right here. It's five inches, six inches long. No crack at the top. Well, there is a crack. But rather than waste a piece of wood with a crack, get that out of the way. Go to my 20 inch marks. So I'll still get two pieces out of this. Uh, the difference is only any cracks. sure by now to get a I try to alternate these staple patterns and uh, you know go on the all gray side this has marks where the fence cross piece there was holding it for support this one is right dead center this one's at the top I'll put it at the bottom and then another small piece will go in here so you so we'll have the closer. same finish you have there at the bottom of the door that you have at the bottom of the window there and off to the side for the door. The top section will have white metal that I bought for this that I mentioned in another video. So that's pretty much it for now. Let me get all this stuff cut up. We'll continue the side this thing. Put siding on all over the place. I have to frame out two more windows. Uh, three, actually. One for the bathroom in the right rear there. And the rest of them. But I need to go buy some more lumber. So, uh, again, we'll just sign off for now.